Hello fellow comic book lovers, collectors, and aficionados. Vin Crew here with his most current bitch as back issue comic haul. And this is going to consist of primarily one uh, friend of mine who sells comics. And uh, he, he was nice enough to let me come over to his house and went digging through his boxes. And um, it averaged about three bucks a book is what I spent here. And then there'll be a little bit at the end of... Um, instagram and uh ebay stuff so let's get going here as usual i've got just a ton of books and as usual i will start off with books that are for sale and or trade because they are doubles this is the acclaim reader now if you're not familiar with acclaim they actually were the precursor to valiant and um they, this was like a, a book that they gave out to uh, introduce their characters and whatnot and some of the acclaimed characters did travel into the valiant universe so this book is coveted for that reason by uh, valiant collectors uh action comics uh, i don't even know what number that is 325 just a great brainiac cover so these are for sale and or trade if anyone's interested in any of them just reach out to me um picked up all three of this i didn't realize i thought i needed at least one but i didn't need any of them but i thought i needed one or two of them but this is the um featuring the hunt the uh amazing uh amazing spider-man annual identity wars this is a connecting cover set here's part one Part two with De Deadpool, and then part three with Hulk. And I think this one introduces a character too. So, um, yeah, so all three of them, I guess, are doubles. No? Uh, I picked up the whole Annihilation set. Uh, one through six, is it? Yeah, one, two, three, four, five. And six, uh, I know it's here. I think I got it in another part here. But I've got six. That's the Drax Thanos cover. I know I've got it. So, And uh, this shouldn't be here. Uh, there it is. <laughs> this this one, it's a double, but I didn't think it was worth showing. Um, Annihilation part, uh, this is the, the Drax Thanos cover. So all, five, or all six parts here. So if anyone's interested in the whole annihilation set, uh, Batman uh, 412, they thought this was the, what was her name? I can't remember what the hell they call her now, that girlfriend of Jokers, um, but it wasn't, so it got hot for a minute. Um, this is Batman 408, this is where Jason Todd uh, steals the tires off the Batmobile, which I think is just awesome. Um, Batman 612, part of the Hush series, great Jim Lee, Superman choking Batman. Batman Annual 25, the origin of the Red Hood. The Toys R Us reprint to 121, the introduction, introduction of Mr. Freeze, or Mr. Zero. <laughs> All right. Batman Adventures The Last Years, number one. I will pick up these Batman and Spider-Man adventure books all the time. Batman Adventure 6, great cover, great cover. Um, Batman vs. Predator, number one. Beta Ray Bill, I believe it's a one-shot, yep. Um, Bat Black Panther, number one. Black Panther Annual number one, where Shuri becomes the Black Panther for the first time. Daredevil, she, uh, just a great cross, fun crossover. Um, Dark Reign, Daredevil, The List, and then that's uh, there. And Dark Reign, Young Avengers 1, this is the first appearance of the new, one of the new Enchantress, and uh, it, it goes for a little bit of money. And I also picked up number five. I picked up the whole set, but I needed one in five. Or I need—I didn't need one in five, so I needed the other ones. Uh, DC Comics presents Superman and Superboy, which is the first appearance of Superboy Prime, number 81. Uh, Deadpool, number 62. Just a great cover. Very sought after. Deathstroke 60, the last issue. Once again, these are for sale and or trade if anyone's interested. Excalibur, Air Apparent. Galactus, The Origin. Um, 
Green Lantern 81. Just a great, great cover. Part of the uh, Parallax story. Harley Quinn, Joker's Asylum. Harley Quinn, Convergence, number one. Uh, Hellboy Weird Tales. This has got Dave Stevens' work in it. Uh, so it's a little bit sought after by Dave Stevens fans. Invincible 38 and 40. A couple of earlier Invincibles. Uh, I found another JSA Files and Origins. First appearance of uh, Adam Smasher and the Kendra Hall. Alright, still, these are all for sale under trade. These are all doubles. Uh, picked up some more Just Imagines. I like these because they have Adam Hughes back covers, and it's done by Stan Lee, too. So, this is Catwoman. These are the back covers. These are the ones done by Adam Hughes. This is Crisis on Infinite Earth and Sandman. It's, again, all done by Adam Hughes. Uh, Justice League of America Annual Number 2, First Appearance of Gypsy and Vibe. Uh, Marvel Milestone, number nine of the X-Men. Marvel Presents Bloodstone. This is first appearance of Bloodstone. Marvel Presents, number one. Marvel Tales. I'll pick this book up all the time, too. Number 201. First, reprints the first appearance of Captain Britain in the U.S. And it has Spider-Ham in there, too. Uh, Marvel Zombies Returns. Just some great cover swipes. And this one is especially awesome. And if you're a Storenko fan or a Nick Fury fan, that one's awesome. Uh, first, uh, this is New Mutants Annual Number 2. First uh, U.S. Psylocke appearance. Nova Number 7. The last issue out of this Nova run uh, features Venom. Not an easy book to find, and people kind of uh, are looking for this book. Uh, Rescue, the one-shot. Rune versus Venom. Remember when this thing was hot? <laughs> that was funny. There was like three of them, and I only took one of them. <laughs> That's um, she Sensational She-Hulk number 12 with the X-Men. And 34, the Vanity Fair cover. <clears throat> uh, Spider-Man 2099-33. First appearance of this um, Strange, Doctor Strange version. Uh, Spider-Woman number 1. It's again for sale under trade. Spitfire number one, early Jenny Frizen, Frizen cover. Legacy Star Wars Zero. Sunfire and the Big Hero Six, one through three. I grabbed the whole set. One, two, and three. Okay, almost done with the doubles. Superman Annual number 11, I believe this is. The uh, first appearance of the uh, um, uh, my black. Uh, oh, can't remember, but this story's been done ad nauseum. It's a great story. Alan Moore. It's a, what do you get the man who has everything? Just a great, great book. Uh, here you go. Um, <laughs> uh, oh, oh, my God. My brain is bad today, but uh, uh, Dave, um, New Teen Titans, first appearance of the Vigilante, um, Silver Age Dave, my God, uh, sorry about that, Dave, uh, Thanos Quest 1 and 2, The Thing number 1, Newsstand, Thunderbolts, 135. This is the uh, Black Panther Marvel 70th Anniversary variant. Um, Wanted, number one. It's a Mark Millar book. It's the one of the variants of this. Uh, Wild Thing, number one. First solo series and her first appearance. I can't say this enough. This is her first appearance. This predates that J2 book. So Wild Thing Zero by Wizard. Um, Wolverine 125, I believe it is. 145, Silver Claws. Wolverine Road to Hell. This is the um, 
This is the first time that this group shows up as X-Force, and it's the group that people want if there's an X-Force movie to show up with Psylocke and Phantom X and Wolverine and Dokken and Deadpool and whatnot. So, um, X-Force, Sex and Violence, one through three, one, two, and three, sought after set by, by Dell Auto fans. Um, X-Men number four, first appearance of Omega Red, newsstand. Young Avengers presents Hawkeye. This is the first time Fraction does uh, Hawk, um, uh, um, Kate Bishop, and just a great Kate, uh, a key Kate Bishop book. And I also found uh, Stature. So, once again, those are for sale and or trade. If anybody's interested, just let me know. All right, so these next books are not are not for sale and or trade. I mean, I suppose they could be, but these are books that are going in the PC. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man 36, newsstand, super hard to find. Very, very happy to find that on um, the 9-11 uh, issue. Amazing Spider-Man number five, second appearance of Silk. Uh, Batman 40, uh, 497, Breaking of the Bat. I found this, I took this because it's a newsstand and it doesn't, the newsstand doesn't have that black thing right there. So that was cool. Um, Batman Returns. Why not? Batman Zero. The only reason I picked these Zero's issues up were because of the bullet. Um, this, this is the bullet variant. This is similar to the DC Universe um, uh, UPC. You could only get these in pre-packaged, pre-packs that were sold at, you know, Toys R Us and Walmart and Sam's Club, that sort of thing. So I've got Batman, Catwoman, Steel, Superboy, uh, King Shark, Wonder Woman. I think that was it. Oh, oh yeah, that's it. Uh, this one came with it. I had no choice. But Justice League of America, yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, Ultimate Thor. Uh, this is number one, I believe. Jace, yeah, J. Scott Campbell. This is the the cover. This is there's another one that's like. Um, is it a Midtown or it's a uh, con exclusive or something that isn't worth quite as much as this one? Uh, this is the one you want. Great J. Scott Campbell cover. Um, Blood Syndicate number one. Why not? Okay, picked up the whole Hope um, Summers run in Cable here, which saw a little bit of heat. And 18 can still sell for 10, maybe 15 bucks on a really good day. But um, this is 18. 19 20 and 21 which is the the run basically of that um avengers dark rain the list this is the second print variant uh for the avengers this features ronin on the cover and another second print variant love this cover this is a tan cover yeah um just uh, like a composite of uh, uh bullseye and daredevil Super cool. Once again, average to about three bucks a book for everything I've shown so far. <clears throat> so a little less than cover price. Um, Dark Wolverine 79, the variant. I'll pick up anything variant uh, Wolverine. Um, Falling in Love, this is number, I don't know, 44. Just a, uh, is it Golden Age? I think this is, it's either early silver or late golden i think it's late uh late golden um but why not these these romance books why not um mr or yeah they call it mr fantastic but it's really a, a fantastic four um toys r us book or not toys r us uh, uh marvel legend or something like that it's some one that comes with the toy uh green lantern number one only reason i picked it up it's a second print and i now i own all of my the tier and the the regular uh hellboy weird tales number five just kind of working on that mini iron heart number one why not a lot of people specking on iron heart night squire i picked up two issues of this five and six and i think probably you know why if you know me joker cover <laughs> and with a joker on the cover i'm gonna snatch it up um lady deadpool one shot Marvel Milestone Edition featuring X-Men number one. 
Marvel Tales reprints 121, is it? 120, yeah, I think it's 121. Um, Army of Darkness, Marvel Zombies. This is the uh, homage to uh, 141, I believe, of X-Men. Uh, the second and third to the last issues of the Max. I already own the last issue. Here's 33 and 34. Uh, Menace. This is a one-shot. This is a con exclusive. This is actually Jada Pinkett Smith <laughs> and done by Lightfeld. So I, I don't know. I just thought it was too goofy to pass up. Um, I, I'm a sucker for these rock and roll revolution books. Um, this is Bon Jovi, Motley Crue. I mean, this is my era. This is when I grew up. Uh, Aerosmith, or no, Queen, excuse me, sorry. Um, Def Leppard. And Poison, I think that was it. That's all I could find. This one just cracked me up. I've seen this a lot. It comes up in, in the holiday time. This is Santa Claus Conquers the Martians. It's beat to hell, but for three bucks, I guess I wasn't going to leave it there. I mean, it, it actually came to, he charged me, I think, five for it. So, I don't know. I just thought, why not? <laughs> it's just goofy as hell isn't it santa claus conquers the martians cool as hell um secret wars the collector core i have no idea what this thing is about but yeah it's one of those what those boxes god those things were uh, do they even do those boxes things anymore what a rip up um shadowland power man I know Mercenot has talked about this. I've talked about this before he started talking about it. This is the first appearance of the new Power Man. And this is the second print variant of his first appearance. So, um, you know, I don't know. I was happy to find it. So, Bart Simpson's Treehouse of Horrors, number 10. These Treehouse of Horrors can go for a little bit of money, especially number one. But I grabbed it because it has, it's Treehouse of Horrors and... It uh, has Pat Boone. No, I mean Kiss. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> uh, the Simpsons Super Spectacular number one. This is still all part of that group of books I bought from my friend. Uh, the Spider-Man Free Comic Book Day. I know this thing got a little bit of attention. I think it still can sell for close to 10 bucks. Uh, this one here, this one. Boo, I was super, super happy to get this one. Spider-Man 2099, the uh, toy uh, uh, insert. The, or they call it the second print, I guess. But this is a $200 book raw right now. So, yeah, very happy to get that. Uh, Star Wars Dark Empire number one. I don't know a lot about these dark Star Wars things, but I pick them up. Dark Force Rising. And then I found a buttload of Knights of the Old Republic. All of these can go for money. Number one, number two, number three, number four, number five, number six. I think this one goes for money. No, this one does. This one goes for some money. This will go for about 40 bucks. Number seven, this one goes for big time money. This is about a $250 book. Number nine, first appearance of, oh God. And I know there's been some big discussions. I know uh, just Shears has done a thing on this and I don't know, Strange X Blade maybe. I don't know. Um, number 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 18, and then Rebellion Zero. I think that was it. Yep. And then another book I was super happy to find. This book here, Tales of the Teen Titans, number 44. First appearance of Nightwing and uh, Jericho. And this is a new stand also. So happy about that. All right, and the last little bit from my friend Venom on trial number it's a one shot, I believe. 
No, it's number three. This is number three. Uh, Violent Messiahs. Very happy to find this one. I'm a big Michael Turner fan. And um, this book is its not easy to find in the wild. It's an early Michael Turner cover. And uh, it doesn't sell for a lot, but it's just hard to find. Um, what If Spider-Man vs. Wolverine. I love that cover. Um, Jim Lee, Wizard. I like Jim Lee. And so <laughs> sorry to pick that up. Uh, Wolverine number 10, the Toy Biz reprint. Wonder Woman number, what the heck number is this? 155. This I love. I married a monster issue. <laughs> It'll sell for about 20 bucks. Um, Anti Hero Special Edition by, um, by, oh my gosh, what is the name of this book again? Oh, Hero. Yeah, the Hero. Um, but this is, um, I, obviously bought it because of the joker cover and i like these these books that are dedicated to like heroes and and anti-heroes and villains and whatnot and the very last of them this is sensational spider-man number one still poly bagged with the uh with the ramones tape in it this will sell for about 35 40 bucks on ebay i thought it was pretty cool well, I kind of regret buying it now because I don't know how to store it. <laughs> um, Sci-Fi Invasion, the Wizard. This has got Boba Fett on the cover, so why not? And then I bought some trades, which I rarely ever do. But I bought this Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. I know this is hot. I don't think this sells for much. I don't know. Um, this, I was... I love the cover, obviously. Swords of the Braddock cover. But this is New Exiles, Away We Go. And then Harbinger number one, not worth much at all. I got all of that for three bucks a piece. So I thought, eh, why not? Okay, and moving on now. This is all stuff that I bought off eBay or IG or something like that. So um, bought Strange Tales 106. Detective Comics, this is 328 and 319, I believe. No, 324. Um, Dead, uh, Walking Dead. I've been wanting this issue, the first appearance of Gabriel, for quite some time, and because it's a preview of Chu. But I just didn't want to spend 30 bucks for it, so I bought it in a set and got it at a pretty good deal. Here's 61, 62 which is Dale is Bitten, 63, um, 64, 65, is it Death of Dale, I think, no, 66, Death of Dale is 66, 67, 68, first appearance of Aaron, 70, 71, 72, 75, 76, 77, so I got a really pretty decent deal for this lot, 78, and 80, which filled in quite a bit of what I needed on some of my Walking Dead runs, so yeah, why not, huh? Strange Tales, 112. So now with these those two issues, I own everything from 111 on, um, and I need six issues to finish Strange Tales from 101 until it ends, which is where the uh, heroes, superheroes start. Um, bought these off of a guy on IG, Blast from the Past, I believe it's called. Great guy, sent a few extra things too. Um, these, I, this one is one he threw in. Arlington Hammer, I don't know much about this, but the, the last book that I show you is why I bought it. Um, this is the Strictly Independent Jotlin something. I only bought it because it's a, a cover swipe to GX, um, Giant Size X-Men 1. This is the book I wanted, uh, the Captain's Jotlin Tales. This is an homage, obviously, to McFarlane's Spider-Man. So I, I'm kind of a sucker like uh, Poor Man's Comics are to that. Conan, trying to finish my Conan run without paying ridiculous prices. I needed like 11, I think, to finish the run. And I needed everything over 250. And I didn't need 275. So kind of right in that 
uh, sandwich there. So here's 252, um, 261, 265, 266, 67, 68, 69, 71, 72, and 74, which is the second to the last issue. So now I only need five issues, I think, because some of these are doubles, to finish all of the Conan, the Barbarian, Volume 1. So happy about that. Uh, I know Don, the comic book junkie, finished his. Um, Fantastic Four, number uh, eight, first appearance of the Puppet Master. So now I own everything from... Um, from six on i only need five and under <laughs> i'm kind of like i think read comics uh, we're we're all kind of he has a three which i think i can get um that's what i'm going to hone in on next but uh after that i don't know <laughs> but anyway so this is my bitch so i want to thank anybody who's taken the journey with me this is vin crew signing off